Lord be with you. <laughs> and also with you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas oh, to you. I never thought we'd make it here to Christmas, no. but here we, <laughs> we are. Did it. It's Christmas Day. We did it, everyone. Oh, what a journey it's been though, Ali. What yeah. Tell us a little about uh well, where we're at and how we got here. <laughs> well, it all started. <laughs> um, it's been quite the year, hasn't it? Uh yeah, this feels like normal life now, filming, which uh, a few months ago we had never really considered. But here we are at Christmas, still filming, and uh, I pray that as the light of the world comes into the world, that you would uh, have things to be thankful for this year. And one of the things that I'm thankful for is that we have made it through, that we've built a little community here online as we've joined in worship together. And that God has been faithful to us in spite of and through it all. And there is a light shining in the darkness. And uh, boy, we could do with it, couldn't we? It's yeah. just going to get brighter and brighter and brighter from here on in. It's going to be amazing, yeah. isn't it? And it's all because of that one holy night about 2000 years ago. So we are going to, uh, you can sing if you want, the words will be there. But we're going to listen to or sing, Oh Holy Night. The stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder place. A new and glorious morn.
are, of course, going to have a Christmas quiz. Uh, so do very quickly go and get a pen and paper, pause us uh, if you need to, and then we will get started. So we're going to be asking 10 questions and uh, we will give you time to think about those 10 questions and then in a little while we're going to give you the answers and then we want to hear from you either you know just here or uh, in person next time we meet uh, how well you did on the quiz there are no prizes other than your own self-respect <laughs> the, well, the thing is you know we're asking a church questions about christmas this is nothing to do with like christmas traditions and you know what are the three main ingredients of a figgy pudding or any of that kind of thing or what color is santa claus's coat and whatever red green carry on <laughs> um this is all bible stuff so I hope you're ready. I hope that was a big enough pad or fill uh, because we are getting going now. Question number one. Who told Mary and Joseph to go to Bethlehem? Question number one. Who told Mary and Joseph to go to Bethlehem? Question number two. What form of transportation did Mary and Joseph use to get to Bethlehem? What form of transportation? OK, number three. I'm whizzing through this because you will have time to think. Number three, which Old Testament prophet had the most to say about the birth of Christ? Do you know all the answers so far? 100 percent. Yeah, right. <laughs> Question number four. What are the meanings of the names Jesus and Emmanuel? OK, that was question number four, the meanings of the names Jesus and Emmanuel. Question number five, what did the angels sing to the shepherds? What did the angels sing to the shepherds was number five. Number six, when the shepherds went looking for Jesus, what was the sign that they had to look for? Question number seven. How many wise men or kings or magi came to see Jesus? How many were there? That was question number seven. OK, so number eight, we are almost done. Number eight, what animals does the Bible say were present at the birth of Jesus? What were the animals that were there? If you've seen Love Actually, you'll know that there was a crocodile. Lobster. No, an ob octopus. Was it? Was he a lobster? I thought it was a lobster. Oh, see? It might have been both. We've seen Love Actually and still don't know. Mm. There was a robot Need to watch as well, it again. wasn't it? Anyway, we'll mm. have to watch it again. Um, so, question number nine. What is the name of the priest who was told that he would not die until he saw the Saviour? And our final question, question number ten. Two of the four Gospels do not mention the birth of of Jesus oh. which two do not mention the birth of Jesus so while you're thinking about that we are now going to have a little version of the Christmas story brought to us by the Bible Society A really, really long time ago, a time before toys, a time before everything, God made the world a time long ago. And just like carpenters make stuff out of wood, God made the world and it was well good. He made all the plants, he made all the trees, he made animals, birds, and he made you and me. And that time long ago, that time that was good, God walked beside humans through the trees in the wood. But the humans he made, like you and like me, said mean things and were really quite nasty. They'd thump and they'd punch and they wouldn't make amends. And so God and humans could no longer be friends. But to be friends again, God had a plan. One day he would send a very special young man. So it happened one day, or maybe in the night, an angel came to Mary and gave her quite a fright. Don't be afraid! Get scared or jump! God's gonna give you a big belly bump! Your belly bump's a baby, and he will be the great one! Why not call him Jesus? He really is God's son! 
Now, inside Mary, a baby was growing, and Joseph stared at the baby bump showing. A bit worried about how the baby got there, Joseph scratched his head and twizzled his hair. But when Joseph was snoring in his dream he had a visit, an angel said Mary would give birth through the spirit. There's a baby inside Mary, a tiny precious life. But don't be afraid, says the angel. Name him Jesus and take Mary as your wife. Then Mary set off travelling with Joseph right beside. They walked and talked for miles and miles until Bethlehem arrived. With a baby inside Mary who was going to be king, when they finally arrived there was no room at the inn. So a place was found by Haystack and Corn, and in this spot the baby was born. So they stayed in the shed where animals fed, and the baby had straw instead of a memory foam bed. Then there were shepherds maybe cleaning their shoes, trying to scrape off the smelly sheep poos. Till all of a sudden, with something weird, from absolutely nowhere this angel appeared. Don't be afraid! That's what I say. Say hi to the baby in a manger full of hay. The sheep looked at the shepherds. The shepherds looked at the sheep. Don't be noisy. Tiptoes, please. Baby Jesus is fast asleep. Shh. Next, wise men travelled ever so far, but they didn't use Google Maps. They followed a star. So the wise blocks found Jesus next to animals with fur and they brought him some gold, frankincense and myrrh. And then baby became boy, and boy grew to man. He made stuff out of wood, he was a carpenter man. And he did lots of cool stuff. He healed the sick, told great stories and was amazing all the time. He even walked on water and even turned water into wine. Remember when people wouldn't make amends? and when God and humans could no longer be friends. Well, it didn't end there, because Jesus the baby and Jesus the man was the exact same Jesus and God's rescue plan. He lived and he died on a cross made of wood. He died for you and me to turn our wrong into good. But something happened after Jesus died that was worth a big high five, because three days later, he came back again. Jesus really was alive. So, don't get scared or jumpy, and don't be afraid. Why? Because I will be with you, says Jesus, not for a bit, but always, right till the end of the age. And that's even longer than a really, really long time. I know you're dying to get the answers to the questions. You said you knew them all as well. Yeah, they. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you, but you've got notes in front <laughs> of you. You said you knew all the answers. Yeah, but I didn't have the notes, Clive, oh, when okay. you were asking the questions. Okay, I'll let you on. Literally. Yeah. Clive's been trying to trick me yet since <laughs> March 2020 online. Yeah. Hasn't succeeded yet. Four out of ten. <laughs> anyway, let's have the answers. Um, I am the answer master. Here are the answers. Uh, question one. It was Caesar Augustus. He ordered people to go back to the city of their forefathers. And Joseph, of course, was from Bethlehem. So if you've got Caesar Augustus, give yourself a point. Number two, the Bible doesn't actually say how they got from Galilee to Bethlehem. What? Surely it was a donkey. It was not a little donkey. Oh. We don't know. Um, it was a long way. So we assume that Mary had to hit a ride but we don't know. Number three. It is, of course, the book of Isaiah that has the most to say about the birth of the Saviour. And number four, Jesus means Saviour mm -hmm. and Emmanuel means God with us. Number... It's only one point for getting both of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not two. So half it's a like point half each. each. Yeah. Number five. Technically, don't you just love that? The pedants amongst us live technically. Technically. Yeah. technically, angels are never said to sing in the Bible. Each time they appear, they only speak. However, they used these words. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill towards men slash women. 
women slash men. Uh, number six, a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Is the answer to that question? What was the question? What was the sign? Ah, what was the sign? And then uh, number seven, the Bible, of course, does not say how many wise men there were. Tradition says there were three because there were three gifts. They've but... got names, haven't they? Yeah, like Balthazar, Melchior, Melchior and... something else. Odd bod. No. Write in the chat Ca if you Ca cast. Caspar, I know, I feel, yeah, it could be, but I Caspar. feel like we're getting it mixed up with Rudolph and the Reindeers. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there's one called Rudolph, grumpy, uh, oh no, sleepy. Yeah, if you if you think you know what they were called, given that no one knows what they were called, write it in the comments. <laughs> um, but we don't know how many there were. We don't know. Where are we now? The next one, number seven, number eight. Oh yeah, number eight. <laughs> um, in the accounts of Christ's birth, there is no mention of any animals. However, what? Yeah, so there wasn't an octopus. No, I mean that. Yeah, an octopus is a little. So bit love of a actually is not a true story. <laughs> I mean a lobster maybe, but not an octopus. <laughs> However, Isaiah one three could be a prophecy talking about at least a donkey seeing the crib of his master, God. Um, blah blah. But there is no definite list of animals mentioned in the Bible. Isaiah doesn't say blah, blah. <laughs> but I was just like skipping forward. Number eight. Nine. Oh, number, nine. number nine. That's number nine. I'll keep losing numbers. It was Simeon, of course, who would see the saviour before he died. Yes. And finally, the Gospels, neither Mark or John, tell the story of the birth of Christ. Let us know in the chat how many points you got. We are trusting you to mark your own. Don't have to swap a mark. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little trek through the uh, Christmas And anyone, story. if you didn't get 10 out of 10, then uh, we're going to have to have stern words. Well, it and might mean we haven't done our job properly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, okay. So um, we are almost coming into land on yeah. this wonderful Christmas morning. Um, before we do, it's traditional to wish people happy birthday. Obviously, we know it's Jesus's birthday, so I think we'll put Jesus in there first. It's also Liz's birthday down at Coventry All Saints. Oh, Do you know of any up your way? No. So we're going to no sing... No Christmas babies. No Christmas babies. We're going to sing to <laughs> Jesus and to Liz. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus, Jesus and Liz. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hooray. Have a great day, Liz. Good, good. Catch up with all of you and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a lot safer New Year. Bye-bye. Um, we're going to sing our final song. We're going to sing O Come, All Ye Faithful. <laughs>
circumstances celebrating the light of the world God come to be right with us whether or not there were animals present whether or not there were three kings or ten kings whether they even were kings whether the shepherds included amongst their number women as well as men who knows whether the angels sang exactly who knows and actually it doesn't really make any difference because we do know the truth that Jesus came to be with us and that changes everything. Mm. That little boy who would grow, saviour, who was God with the saviour yeah. and is the saviour of the world. So God bless you today. On Sunday, which is in two days time, there will be a, a service. It's the diocesan service that we will be sharing in online. We will also be in church, of course. So those of you who want to come to the building, we will be there. Don't forget a mask if you come. But otherwise, we will post the link to the service for Sunday morning. God bless you today. And may you know the blessing of God come to be with you, fully human and fully God. May you know that he came to be one of us, our neighbour, living life just as we do. And may you therefore know that he understands all of the ups and downs of this year and more. I pray you would know the blessing of him who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit this Christmas day and always. Amen. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Happy Christmas. God bless you.